The phases of the moon are a captivating dance between the Earth, moon, and sun, resulting in the changing appearance of the moon from Earth. These phases progress in a cycle that repeats every 29.5 days, known as a lunar month. The cycle begins with the new moon. During this phase, the moon is positioned between the Earth and the sun. The side of the moon that is illuminated by the sun faces away from the Earth, making it invisible from our vantage point. Following the new moon, the waxing crescent appears. This is when a sliver of the moon becomes visible as it starts to move away from the alignment with the sun. Each night, more of the moon becomes visible, forming a crescent shape. About a week after the new moon, half of the moon is visible from Earth, marking the first quarter. This phase is sometimes referred to as a half moon, as the moon is at a 90 degree angle relative to the Earth and Sunday. As more of the moon becomes illuminated, we enter the waxing gibbous phase. The moon appears to grow larger each night, moving toward fullness. The full moon occurs when the entire face of the moon is visible, fully illuminated by the sun. At this point, the Earth is between the sun and the moon. After the full moon, the moon begins to wane. The waning gibbous phase sees the gradual diminution of light on the moon's surface. The third quarter phase follows, where again, half of the moon is illuminated. This time, however, the opposite half compared to the first quarter. The cycle winds down with the waning crescent. The moon appears as a shrinking crescent until it returns to the new moon, completing the lunar cycle. Each phase of the moon has been observed and celebrated by cultures around the world, influencing calendars, art, and even human behavior. Whether used in determining the timing of festivals or as an element of mythology and folklore, the moon's phases remain a significant and fascinating part of the natural world.